gotta do your research. Feeling like I fell out of the sky and landed feet first. My quad go hard, my quad go country. Watch my team work. Hell yeah, you can tell that the boy finish. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to, well, I think this is Impact. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. But welcome to Impact here tonight. And we are on the road to Skyfall. It's the second to last show before we get to Skyfall. Actually, well, you still got to count the pre show. So that's, well, the pre show is technically Skyfall, but it's not the Skyfall. It's just a pre show, which is something special to everybody. But welcome to Impact Wrestling Presents itself here tonight. Here tonight, as uh, we got a little battle right here between one of the number one contenders for the TV championship, Montel Vontavia Zapata, MVP. We'll be looking for that championship at Skyfall when he faces uh, Samoa Joe, Matt Hardy, and the champion himself, Austin Aries, in a pretty big battle of a four-way matchup, which should be pretty fun to see at Skyfall. It's just it's just a thing that happens every now and then, you know, pay-per-view from ECW that takes about 30 years to happen, but it happens. it happens. Anyways, MVP ready to shine here tonight on Impact. We're looking for a win tonight. It's going to be tough competition, but I, I think he'll pick up the win because it just seems like one of those nights. The air is all blowing in your face right now. Oh, my God, it's all blowing in my face. Ah, it's all air and craziness. Ah. So here we go. His opponent tonight is going to be a man he'll see this Sunday. The Samoan submission machine. Samoa Joe. Now Joe is coming out here tonight to look in, uh, to you know, make believers out of, uh, make, get some believers out there. You know, everyone's thinking, hey, it's just going to be a battle between MVP and Austin Aries in the end. Joe and, Har and Hardy, Matt Hardy just thrown in there just because, you know, just because WCW needs some guys. But Joe is looking to make that not the case on um, on Sunday at Skyfall. He's looking to make a real strong case tonight that maybe they should fear him a little bit. You know, that maybe he will be the future champion. Uh, the future TV champion. Who knows? I, I don't know. I'm not the guy that could predict the future. Again, I told you, I'm not Jamaican and I'm not Miss Cleo child. Alright, so let's just get that out of the way. So Joe and MVP are going to start the match here tonight. Here on Impact, as we are on the road to guess what? That's right, the Skyfall Free Show. <laughs> Skyfall Free Show should be fun. But, uh, this should be even funner. MVP and Samoa with Joe go at it. I, they two have gone at it before in that ring. They've fought each other. They've done everything that you need to do out here to, to win championships, do what you need to do. Joe, very tough uh, opponent. As MVP, again, with the strength right, that's a big, strong move right there. Joe is not the lightest of men. And to be able to lift Samoa with Joe up like that is a... It's a sheer strength, but Joe again is going to bring you a knee like that. He's going to bring you some some uh, some moves that you're going to be uh, not looking for from a big guy like this. You know, Joe, pretty big guy, but he is able to move like a much smaller guy, and that's the beauty of Samoa Joe. He, he's able to bring you the small guy moves, but at the same time, he's able to bring you those power moves that we should be expecting from him. But uh, MVP again, very crafty at what he does. Not the biggest guy of all, but he is very crafty at what he does. He knows how to. Get the right moves in the right time. He's very smart about what he does in that ring. And like again, right there, he was getting counted out. Goes out and brings the battle back until one to the count. One to two. Now it's a two right now, but it's bad. You know, it was like at six or seven, and now he brings it back to one. Very smart move by MVP again. It's what he does. Very smart. And that's I think a lot of why a lot of people picking MVP to win the championship at Skyfall. And there comes the knee to the face of Joe as Joe now bringing punches, bringing whatever he needs to do. Bring a kitchen sink. Why don't you? We are, we are, uh, we are kicking some ass here tonight. 
Well, MVP and Joe are kicking each other's asses, but, you know, we are kicking some ass here. Here are the impact. It's just rolling along, rolling along. Is this match right here? The fans are interested, and I'm into it. Hell, why not? Sure, yeah, I don't sound into it, but I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm going great. I'm going bananas. I'm going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs or watermelon for watermelon. As now it's time to ball, and it's time to do one thing and one thing only. Joe, yep, there we go. Just takes his little steps right there. Balling. Bam! The elbow. A move that hurts you so much you can't even believe why. One, two. A kick out by Samoa Joe. Joe, you know, Joe and MVP, they've had a battle before. So, you know, they know each other very well. This isn't, uh, no, oh, I don't know you. This is our first time getting in there. Right now, these have been battling it out before for titles. I thought it before here is the ECW land slash WCW land. I have to say, or else we get sued by WCW for not uh, incorporating them into the program because they are now an entity. Here is Joe going down. Joe part of the WCW group, MVP part of the ECW alliance. It's a very strong battle between the two, and it's going to all come in uh, head to the end of the pay-per-view. And yeah, that's right. I have to say Skyfall as many times as I can. I just got to say, we're, we need that money. That money, money. Yeah, yeah. And there's a pin, pin. Yeah, yeah. Nope, a two count, count. Yeah, yeah. And Joe gets taken down again. MVP just doing those super looks like it's nothing to him. He's just like, I got this. Let me lift you up and let me hit you with a move like this. As Samoa with Joe and MVP. Here comes Joe. Joe with a big time kick knocking down Montel Vontavious Porter. MVP down on the ground. Here comes a pin by Joey. Joey Votto. I'll kick out by MVP. MVP. And there's a knee to the face. You just got knee to the face, son. By Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP, whooping your monkey ass. And oh, baby, this match, it's got the people going wild. And they're going wild. They're up, they're up the seats. They're up their seats. Not very likely you'll see them up their seats, but these guys are up there on up their, up their seats, clapping and applauding and doing what they need to do to, to be happy. You know, they're like, yeah, yeah. They're clapping. I don't know why they're clapping, but they're all clapping, and I, uh, I applaud them. Let them, let them clap. Let them do what they need to do. As Joe comes at you again, as MVP, there's a power slam right there by uh, Joe. Joe doing what he needs to to pick up a win. Maybe here we go. Trying to drop his old body. Trying to get a pin. Trying to get a win. Trying to do what he needs to do. Kick out by MVP though. Able to kick out though. That I thought that would hurt a lot more. I thought that would put the three count, but uh, Joe. Joe gets unlucky there as MVP now coming at you. Oh, they bump into each other. Not very likely. You see that? But Samoa Joe with the Samoan drop. If it wasn't Samoan, he'd just be called a drop. One, two, and a kick out by MVP. Oh. Here, look at MVP. He's feeling it. He's thinking it's time to close this one out. Time to put this one to bed. Time to get a cross face. Maybe working the cross face on Joe. Joey. Jo Joe goes right to the ropes and says, I'm going to be safe right now. As now MVP gets taken down. And J MVP thinking comeback time. Here we go. MVP with a big time close. Oh. And well, you got caught. You got caught off oh, with that kick to the side of the head. You're done, son. You're done. Here we go, Joe. Go, Joe. Go, Joey. Joey Votto. Joey Samoa. Joey's got it. Joey's got the freaking bare, na bare naked choke hold. Whatever the hell you want to call it, it's choking the life. The cut clean. I don't know what you want to call it. He's choking the life out of MVP. MVP. Is moving. He's moving, but he's trying to get. He's looking. He's looking. At MVP rolling the right side. Right side for him. Gets MVP. Gets Joe off of him. MVP gets Joe off of him. And Joe holding that knee. And that's not a good sign for Joe. But now MVP's like, get up, son. Here we go, oh, Joey. Joe Votto. Joe Samoa Joe is doing what he needs to do. Here we go, Joe. Lift him up. Samoa Joe. Oh, he was going for it. That was going for that muscle buster. But now MVP with the neck breaker to help him win the match. Hoping to try to win this, try to become the next the next winner of this match here tonight. The next win for Samoa Joe could come here tonight on Impact. And there's a big time uh, clothesline by MVP. Montel Vontavious Porter bringing the fight again to Joe. Samoa Joe better watch himself because, uh, whoa, what a counter by Joe. And he's just busted open uh, MVP with that kick right there. That kick to the side of the face. 
grab him with when the feet meets the skull. Somebody's gotta bleed. Joe's bringing punches right now. Joe's bringing shops. Joe's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Joe! Whoa, 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 whoa. What's Joe thinking? But look at MVP. He's like, get out of my way, son. Jumping time. Jumping time. Neck breaker time. Possibly the MVP. It's a little bit off. But look at Joe. Joe Powerbomb. Joe with the Powerbomb. Joe with the win. No. No, not yet. Not yet. And Joe in trouble because now MVP's thinking it's time for me to win. Here it is. One. The pair. The submission. Oh, my God. I'm so lost for words right now. The submission by Joe. On Joe. On Joe. On Joe. Not yet, MVP. Not yet. You don't win the match just yet. As now Samoa Joe going to work now. An elbow to the back of the head of MVP. Punch is being thrown right here. I'm trying to get him into that corner. If he can't get him in that corner, this could be the match. It's Joe now. Trying to get him in that corner. Trapped in the corner. And he's just trapping him over there. As MVP is going to have to figure a way out of there. Because uh, Joe is looking at you right now. He's thinking it's time to kick this guy's backside. And he's telling him, come on, MVP. Come on. You can do it. Come on, jump. And look at Joe just taunting MVP right in front of his face. As now Joe... Thinking high risk, high reward, a super, super flex, a super flex, a super flex, a super flex. My God, this could be the win for Joe. No, no, no. MVP says no, son. Now MVP was thinking that was my time to shine. And look at Joe with a running knee. It takes down MVP. MVP is down. Joe, what are you thinking now? Joe punching the life out of Joe. Oh, MVP with the baby. Hey, God, I don't know if we call that the, the play of the day, but I think we do. As Joe in trouble. But look at MVP going back to work on him. He should have closed him out right there. He should have gone for the pin. What are you doing, MVP? You should have gone for the pin. There's nothing else worth it. And now Joe tossing MVP over there. Oh, no, 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 no. I've seen this before. Joe punching him one, punching him twice, three times is a charm. Knocks MVP down. I thought we were going to see the, the biggest, baddest move in the in the WCW, ECW side. I thought we were going to see it. Wait a sec. What is Joe thinking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Joe, what are you doing? What are you doing? A superplex on the outside of the fucking ring. To the freaking ring outside of the ring. Outside of the ring, they fall with that suplex. My God, what is going on here on Impact Wrestling? My God, man, MVP is down. He is down. He's crying in pain. Somebody help the poor boy out. Somebody get off of him. My God, and now MVP back in the ring. MVP trying to give it one last good fight. But here comes the roll up. Here comes the pin. MVP looking to win the match like this. Yeah, that's no kick out by Joe. Joe gets caught into a Samoan drop. Whoa, Joe. Come on, Joe. Go, Joe. Go. And Joe is thinking to himself, what? He kicked out? He kicked out? What? He kicked out? My God. And here comes Joe back at it. Joe, Joe might have got in there. Joe might have got in there. There's a move there, and it's called a muscle buster. Muscle buster hits. Look at that. Look at that right there. He spins around and just drops him with that muscle buster. Joe for the win, the pin, Samoa Joe wins, Samoa Joe defeats Montel Vontavious Porter here on Impact Wrestling.
what a win for uh, Joe. I think he really did send a strong statement tonight saying that he is a real competitor towards that. Uh, towards that. Just saying. I, th I thought he would. Joe, what are you? Come on, Joe. Don't don't take that. Come on, Joe. You just won tonight. Believe in me. I'm not gonna believe in you. This Sunday, Joe must win. What well, Joe is doing for himself. Joe wants to be on top of the mountain again. But he's still leader of the nation of violence. That nation of violence is pretty scary. As the new what? The new what? The new WCW. Well, look at MVP says, hey, hey, I did not enjoy the way you won that match. Here, let's fight. Let's fight. Oh, my God. Someone separate this, please. And even fight between Joe and MVP. I can't wait to see what happens at Skyfall. Oh, you didn't know, but it's Mr. Ass's time. He loves to love him. And he's about to whoop some ass here tonight, here on Impact. He's been, uh, been the little partner of the road dog, just James. They've been having a little bit of a, of a contest with the Magnus and Nigel McGuinness team. And it should be a very interesting team. I mean, Desmond Wolf, not Nigel McGuinness. Sorry. Oh yeah! I love the love. I love the. Mm -hmm. Can Billy Gunn pick up a win here tonight on Impact Wrestling? I do not know. I do not know nothing. I know nothing. But the Road Dog here, the outside right there, that can make a big, uh, big time uh, help right there. Big time friend right there to help you out win the match and be the next winner of the next match here tonight. We've already seen uh, Samoa Joe and MVP put on one little match, and uh, maybe we'll see a win uh, by uh, by. Uh, by this man right here, the one, the only, the British, the British machine, the British Magnus. Magnus ready to shine here tonight, here on Impact, looking to make a statement, looking to show everybody that he is a true uh, competitor, that he should be taken seriously. He's being accompanied by Desmond Wolf. These two guys are a tag team. I don't know what they call themselves, but they are a tag team, and they are looking to make a statement in the tag team division here on ECW. Can Magnus pull off the win here tonight against the badass Billy Gunn here on Impact? Only time will tell. Hopefully three seconds right now tells us right now because uh, that's how long we want this match to go. Three seconds as Magnus and Billy Gunn are about to go at it. Last week we saw Desmond Wolf and Billy Gunn go at it. Or was it? I don't remember that well, but my mind isn't that great. But anyways, here we go as Billy Gunn is just telling him, you can suck this and then you can kiss this. And Magnus is like, look at this face right here. That face don't do nothing like that. Not since the 1990s. And oh, he's coming with the drop kick right there. Desmond Wolf coming on top going like, hey, 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 let me, let me take care of business for you. Let me handle some business for you. But uh, Magnus is coming at you with some chops now. Billy Gunn, though, switches it around. You know, conventional wisdom would say this would be a match between Magnus and the Road Dog. But it's not gonna happen. Billy Gunn thinks he's uh, you know, he's telling the road dog, you know what? You rest up. Let me go out there. Let me compete. Let me be me. You can just rest up. So whenever we have a big tag team match, you're ready to go. You're ready to shine. You're ready to take care of business. But I don't know. If that's the smartest thing to do. Maybe the people want to see the road dog in action here tonight. Uh, I know some of these people do, but I don't know about you know a lot of people also want to see the the badass Billy Gunn in action too. You know, I know you want to see him. I know you love to see them asses, but uh. 
And you'd love to hear that song, but there is a nut shot that's not going to be very well on the ass man. And the ass man's going down as Magnus is looking like he's about to pick up the win. But look at Ro Roadhog. Roadhog saving his partner. And Magnus is like, hey, get out of my match. And Magnus attacks Roadhog right now. He's going after the Roadhog. And Billy Gunn's like, hey, what? Wait a second, what's going on? Okay, if you want to attack my attack team partner, I'll attack your partner. And he's going after Wolf. Desmond Wolf in trouble. Billy Gunn and Magnus back in the ring. And Billy Gunn distracted by Magnus' his partner, Desmond Wolf, on the outside. As Magnus able to hit a beautiful bulldog. And here we go. As Magnus goes under the legs, takes care of the knee. The knee is in trouble right now because if uh, Magnus does what he wants, this match is going to be over in seven seconds. As Magnus thinking... Counter, oh, no counters, no nothing. Magnus in trouble. And there comes a couple kicks from Magnus. And, uh, no, he's getting kicked by uh, Billy Gunn. Magnus is getting kicked. I'm just a little off right now. Billy Gunn, power move right here. A very strong maneuver. Uh, Billy Gunn, and that's how you do it when you're Billy Gunn. You just do moves like that that no one can do it. You tell him to suck it and to kiss my... That's right, to do that. And he's going to do it. He will. And oh, I thought he was going for that fame ass, sir. But no, he is not. He is not going for it. As uh, Magnus in control right now, Magnus is like, I've got this one, man. This is a, these are two tag teams right here. They don't get as much, uh, much chance as they should at the titles, but uh, they're two tag teams trying to survive here. The Road Dog and uh, Billy Gun, Billy Gun have been attacking for quite a long time, so you know they they have that um, that resume, but you know they think it's just uh, you know these guys should just hang them up and that's it, that they're done already. And then you got a group like Magnus and Desmond Wolf. We've never really been that long together, but, you know, they're trying to click the buttons together. So, it's a, it's a rookie team against a freaking veteran team, a freaking arm, a veteran army here of the Road Dog and Billy Gunn. So, you know, it's it's a, quite a challenge for Magnus and Desmond Wolf to have their first team that they're going up against to be this kind of a team right here. But if they can overpass this challenge, you know, this team could be very on their way to being a very good tag team here in WCW slash ECW. And Magnus with an elbow, but he misses it to Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn and Road Dogg still trying to prove to the world that they still got it, that they've never lost it, that they have it. And uh, we'll see if that's true right now. We're, you know, Billy Gunn's doing his best right now to take care of business. But Magnus has got him now. A butt breaker, a butt breaker, a butt breaker, everybody. That's a butt breaker. That was a butt breaker. And he got his butt broken right there. And uh, right now Magnus is thinking maybe it's time to take care of business. But Road Dogg's partner, Billy Gunn, says, hey. You can suck on these. Oh, yeah. Neckbreaker. Looking for a win. Maybe even the pin. And he's tossing him over. The Road Dog says, that's how we do it when you're in tag team action. Look at him telling him, you can kiss this. You can suck on the other one. Or whatever other way you want to do it. I don't think you want to suck on Ash. Ash, Ash, Ash. Sorry, 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 sorry. We're trying not to curse at all. And the Road Dog's been ejected. The referee says, enough's enough, man. That's it. You're gone. As Billy Gunn's building that momentum now, Billy Gunn thinking it's time to hit a fame assa. Here we go. The famous one might be on the verge. No, no, no. Billy Gunn not able to get what he needed to do there. But Billy Gunn is telling, come on down. Meet the famous sir. The famous sir connects. Billy Gunn. Oh, come on. What are you doing, Billy? A neck breaker just to put a little bit more into it, I guess. But Billy Gunn hit a famous or and a neck breaker as Desmond Wolf is distracting the referee. The referee needs to wake the hell up. And Billy Gunn says, I gotcha. You're not going nowhere. And look at this. Magnus turns him around. Magnificent. Oh, Magnus hits. Connects. Magnus for the pin. Thinking maybe the win. Son of the ref. Come on, ref. One, two, three. Knockdown. You've been magnified. As Brutus Magnus, as Brutus, uh, Brutus Magnus wins, let's just call him Magnus from now on, because that was the worst thing ever. Magnus picks up the win, and I can't wait to see until we see Desmond Wolf and Magnus team up against Road Dog and and Billy Gunn. You know, enough of these singles matches. Let's see who's got the better team. I'll tell you that it will be the badass and Road Dog that have the better team. This team right here, that they challenge what these guys have. Just watch. I just want to see a tag team action. No, no more singles action. Let's see Magnus and Wolf compete together as a team to take on the Road Dog and 
and Billy Gunn and see who's got the better team. Honestly, sometimes the better team will land up with the guy who lost tonight. Trust me, they have a better team than these two clowns right here. But whatever, you know, these are the young faces of uh, WCW slash ECW. They represent the WCW side, which I think is a big mistake. But hey, until they don't, they're clowns. But Billy Gunn and Road Dog. Well, Billy Gunn loses tonight. Not a not a good win for him. Not a good loss. Sorry, not a good loss for him. He didn't win. He lost. Not a good loss for the guy. But uh, Magnus wins, and Magnus is cheering himself on right here, all with uh, the help of his partner Wolf. Oh, well, maybe some uh, lovely, 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 lovely women's action here tonight. And this one should be great. We're about to see a two, I believe a three of the four competitors in that women's championship match at Skyfall. Yes, that's right, Skyfall. No. Well, at Skyfall. ODB and Brooke Tessmacher will team up together tonight. They take on Gail Kim and her, apparently the real number one contender, Melina. So uh, we'll see what happens here tonight, but ODB... Looking to make a statement. I didn't think she would be coming out all like this, all femme. But she is. She is. She's doing what she needs to do tonight. Uh, she's ready to win a title. That's, I think, overall favorite. She's my overall favorite because she's the biggest one in the ring. And she's going to handle business. She's going to take care of people. She's going to beat people up. And that's what wins you championships right there. Beating people up. For a living. Here comes Brooke Desmaka. Oh, baby, she could be the future women's champion here. You know, she is a new addition to the, the roster, but she could be the future champion. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe she is. Maybe Skyfall. It turns out to be her that she went to title. No longer Gail Kim. Mrs. Gailey Kim. Even though I think uh, a couple of other people should have been in the match. But, you know, it's a whole bunch of new diva, a whole bunch of new women uh, wrestlers that are just coming in here to handle business. And, uh,. And she's one of them to come in here. And she's looking good right now. She's looking good. She's looking ready to fight. Here we go. Uh, they're about to meet their uh, opposition for tonight. And that opposition has a women's champion on that team. And has a uh, another women's champion from another company. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, she, well, she was a champion in another company. Just saying. But here comes Melina. Well, Lena, who in Gail Kim's eyes is the true number one contender, even though she hasn't really fought in the comp, and you know she hasn't fought in a long time. According to Gail Kim, she is the number one contender. I think there's a lot of butt kissing. Wait a second, let's let's take a moment to think of that butt kissing. I think we have to be sterile. We'll just be sterile now. Let's get back to a sterile environment. Well, I don't, I don't think we will be able after this entrance right here, after this performance. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh my goodness gracious. The best entrance of all time. Right there, there you go. That was a, a jaw dropper. You see, I'm just stuttering now. Jaw dropper, stuttering, making entrance as Melina makes her way out here. And then she's in the ring now. And uh, we wait for Gail Kim to come out next so we can get this match started. These entrances take forever, but uh, it's the way we do it. It's the way we waste time. <laughs> and here comes the one, the only, the women's champion. Gail Kim. The women's champion looking to make a name for herself here tonight. Even though she already is the women's champion, she's looking to make a bigger name for herself. Looking to become the best wrestler in the company, as she has, you know, she's been trying to say to us. Uh, she thinks she's the best, even between the males. She thinks she's the best wrestler, and I guess, you know, she she can make her claim for it. We'll see if that's true, but uh, we'll see what Gail does here, man. Gail says she's uh, ready to take care of business and. Uh, at Skyfall, she will retain the title. I don't believe it, but whatever. Whatever, back freckle. Let's just get this match going on now. As it's going to be tornado style, tornado style matchup. It looks like uh, Brooke and Melina are going to go at it as ODB and Gail Kim go at it. And ODB is going after the champ. She wants to put the champion in a very tough situation because she knows if she could take down the champ. Oh, Gail Kim says, 
I do things my way. I can take you out. And that kick like that, that kick could hurt you very well. And look at Gale going after. After Tess Mocker, thinking maybe it's time to do the jump as ODB not looking, paying attention, nobody paying attention to that one. As Gail Kim is going high risk. And a DDT by Gail. Gail's handling business right now. Gail Kim is doing what she needs to do right now. And moves like that are what makes her go crazy. That's why she's the champion. Look at that maneuver right there by Gail Kim. How can you stop that? She just did that twice already. Oh, dear God. Humanity. And I kicked to the side of the head again. And... ODB in deep trouble, deep, deep trouble. And uh, Gail again with the kick to the side of the head. My God, those kicks to the side of the head are doing damage. But here comes the Luthas press. ODB has finally had enough of it. She's saying, I have it. I'm done. I'm not dealing with this crap anymore. I'm going to whoop your monkey ass into next week. Just saying. ODB, ODB, ODB. It's going to work on this lady right here named Gail Kim. Gail Kim is running right into a, into a steel post. That's never a good sign. Not even when you're walking into a steel post. Never a good sign. What is Brooke Tessmacher doing out here? I think she's trying to I think she's trying to get a table to do something crazy right here. But not, not anymore. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can do whatever you want. Two now a kick out a kick out by uh OD by Gale sorry by Gale here comes Gale Gale trying to get her again Gale looking for the championship win no wait wait switch around switcheroo wait switcheroo by uh Gale now by Gale's uh, friend ODBZ ODBZ gets rid of Gale Keezy Gale Keezy's outside in the ring thinking how am I gonna come back in this one as Gail Keezy thinking, I got this one. Swaying in there back in the ring. Sending her back in the ring. ODBZ getting taken down by Gail Keezy. And as we see, Brooke and Melina going at it over there. It's looking like an interesting matchup over there between Brooke and Melina. As Brooke is setting up Melina to go up high. And here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness gracious. Gail Kim does a little stop. But Brooke drops Melina down. ODB takes control. ODB and Brooke Tessmacher laying the beat down to these women right here. And look at ODB going. To, she's like, Gabe, you can punch Melina harder. I'll punch her hard. And they're just punching. They're just playing a little game. Who can punch the other woman harder? And Gail's in trouble. Brooke, oh, Brooke. It's, look at look at what I mean. ODB gets taken down. Brooke Tessmacher, though, going after Melina. And she might be looking to close this into a pin. And no, Melina says, uh -uh, I'm fighting back. And ODB says, don't even think about getting up. That's the stupidest thing you can do, Melina. As Gail and ODB, opposite opponents here tonight, are dominating their their partners, their uh, opposition's partners right now. And look at ODB's strength and power as Gail Kim is taking down Brooke Tessmacher. And now she's looking to take down ODBZ. ODB's down. A uh, eat defeat connects. Can Melina help save her partner? Molina's not. Molina says, "Hey, I took the I took the hit." And Molina and Gail Kim win while Brooke Tesmacher is distracted. That ODB gets counted. Go ODBZ. ODB. ODB loses tonight. ODB loses. Brooke Tesmacher loses. Gail Kim and Molina win here tonight. Back of the head. A win for these ladies uh, does not stop their momentum. Gail Kim, Melina win. Melina wins after being gone for. We haven't seen her really in action for quite a while. Or healthy. I don't know. That's the question. That's the, that's the question of the day. When was the last time Melina was in action here in the CCW slash WCW ring? Yeah. Uh, Gail and Melina celebrate. I'm being told that Gail Kim going to want the mic. Damn it. So who keeps giving the mic to these people that keep winning matches? Can we give the mic to someone who loses? Can we give the mic to the referee, please? I think we should give the mic to the referee. Or give the mic to me. Let me do something. Let me say something. All I want to say is the greatest words ever spoken are... Oh, I, they taught me not to be rude, so I'm going to let the ladies talk. So let's let them talk. Whoa!
That was a cheap shot, man. Whoa! We don't use that word here. And she just did. Okay, a little crazy, but it's okay. Anyways, guys, we're getting ready for our main event. Stick around. I can smell. I can smell the fear in Matt Hardy's eyes tonight as he takes on Austin Aries. The fear is that if Matt Hardy can't pick up a win here tonight, Matt Hardy's in deep, deep doo-doo. Because I, I think he has the less chances. If, I, if you're gonna ask me, who do you think has the le least chances of winning that match at Skyfall? That match between Joe Aries, Hardy, and MVP. I'm gonna tell you, it's this guy, then Joe, then. After that, it's like a really toss-up between Aries and MVP. But after tonight's performance with Joe, now it might be a toss-up between Joe and MVP, and Aries might be the clear-cut winner. But uh, MVP and, and Aries were my favorites coming into the night, but uh, I'm pretty sure Aries will make the adjustments tonight to defeat uh, Matt Hardy and not let Matt Hardy grow any any momentum heading into the pay-per-view. Matt Hardy looking to pick up a win, though, looking to actually make himself a favorite in it. Maybe he's not. Maybe he doesn't care that what people think. And maybe he'll just go in there and win the match. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. This momentum thing is kind of crazy here in wrestling. You know, that's why we never really, you know, talk about it. Except every time I talk on the mic, I'm talking about momentum. Everybody. And here comes the television champion of the world, the ECW television champion of the world, Austin Aries. And he wants to make something happen here tonight. Why not? Why not make something happen? You are the man. You are the Austin of all Aries. So make it happen, Aries. Make it happen, Cap. I don't know. Maybe you should make it happen. You know, he, he's a pretty good athlete. Pretty damn good at what he does. And Matt Hardy might be in trouble tonight. He, he won his match last week against uh, Kevin Steen, and that's a ladder match. He won it. He beat him. You know, I don't care if Ken Shamrock came in. He still won, and he retained his championship. So the guy is ready. The guy can, uh, when that title is on the line, he can go. So there's no question about Austin Aries. That's why I think he's a favorite of a lot of guy, a lot of people, that Aries will retain his title at Skyfall. But tonight, uh, Matt Hardy trying to change that thought of a whole bunch of people and beat Austin Aries here tonight. And there comes the need of the guy, Aries, coming after Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy switches it around now. Matt Hardy thinking maybe it's time to do a couple wrestling moves here. The old locked up heads up. All these things are coming at you now. Matt Hardy brings out the pain. But now here comes Austin Aries bringing his own version of the pain. And Matt Hardy able to get out the way of that one. Matt Hardy now, 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 my guy, my guy. I'm just saying jibber jobbers now here as Matt Hardy reverses that punch and here comes a couple elbows here comes a couple punches but now Austin Aries switches everything around nice kick by the guy tossing him to the corner over there making sure that the things become fun and look at it Aries now he's like what you gonna do now you're gonna get knocked down by a clothesline by Matt Hardy as Matt Hardy keeps coming up with those clotheslines to knock down the guy and a neck breaker could be very well used here tonight as Matt Hardy goes quick back to the attack Hardy's not gonna let up tonight he's gonna make sure Aries feels everything man and I this is a good way to uh, hurt your opponent injure them who knows maybe find a weak spot in them and exploit it you know start working on the body part you want to start, you know start working on the leg let's say you start working on the leg they'll be feeling it towards the paper you can go right back to it and work on it again and just go after it this is what you do in a match like this right here work on your opponent the weakness you want to expose of theirs on on for the pay-per-view match and then there's a drop kick by Aries he misses it and now Matt Hardy's thinking to himself, how do I put this guy down? And there's a knee, there's an elbow, sorry, an elbow to the throat. And that's never good. Never try to do an elbow to the throat or to the head because it will hurt. And you will cry, and you will cry, and you will cry, and you will cry. <laughs> Nuts! Meet the knee. That's not feeling good. I'm kind of trying not to grab my own right now because that heard my marble sack but Matt Hardy's going to work right on Austin Aries the champ needs to uh, turn this around in quick 
before Matt Hardy picks up the win because that's what it's looking like is going to happen here. And it looks like Matt Hardy might be looking for that win, might be looking for that decisive victory tonight, might be looking for that win that says, hey, Matt Hardy is still relevant, Matt Hardy's still kicking ass, and Matt Hardy just got hit by an elbow that belonged to Austin Aries as Aries now gets switched around by Matthew Hardy. Matt with a neck breaker, Matt looking to win the match. Maybe Matt's going to go high risk. Matt, I risk. Jump it. Jump. He jumped it. He jumped it. He made the jump. The pinfall for the win. This could be it. Matt Hardy for the win. No oh, kick out by Austin Aries. Austin A. Aries is doing what he needs to do. The greatest man who ever lived. He Remember, he won a match for that title against uh, Chris Masters at one of our pay-per-views. But here comes Aries. Aries trying to come back. Aries trying to do what he needs to do. And things like that will be the moves that bring him back. Austin Aries is based in it right now. He's trying to make sure that the comeback stays alive and then he wins it. And this could be his, well, if, if the way he wins it right here. This could be the way it starts right there. Moves like those could be the way it starts. A clothesline could be the way it starts too. He's just knocking the guy down. And Aries jumping high. And look at Austin Aries. He says, I'm freaking good, son. I'm the greatest Man, whoever lit. Oh, what a counter! What a counter! What a counter! As Matt Hardy's like, I'm feeling this. Sh I'm feeling this. Sh I'm feeling this. Sh but look at Aries. Aries is like, you're not feeling it because I just got you there. And Aries thinking 450 maybe. A moonsaw maybe, and they got it. And knocks down Hardy. Knocks down Hardy. The moonsaw could be the way he wins it here tonight. No kick out by Matthew Jeffrey Hardy. Psych. Matthews coming into it with a neck breaker. Neck breaker. Matthew Hardy looking at it thinking maybe it's time, man. Come on, pumping myself up here. Only person that belongs to Matt Hardy is Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy needs to realize that I have no making no sense. I'm making no sense. And Aries, throw him up. Boom! Austin Aries is going to work. Aries looking for the win, looking for the pin. Oh, no, Matt Hardy. Trying to show that he is no fourth place. That he will not finish up in fourth place in that match for the title. That he will not be the loser. That he will be the champion. And I don't know whether to buy it or not to buy it. But Matt is giving us a very good reason to buy into Matt. And Matt trying to drop the leg. But it did not work. As Austin Aries able to get out the way. As now Austin Aries might be thinking. Knock him down with that kick. Go for the pin. Maybe the win. Maybe the win. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Aries. No. Oh, Matt Hardy kicks out after that devastating kick. I think it's Matt Hardy. And Matt Hardy now also oh, gets the switcheroo right there. Matt now thinking, time for that leg drop that I do. Oh, boom. Dropping that leg. Matt's going for the pin. Matt's going for the win. Matt's going to win. Oh, Matt Hardy gets a two count on that one as Austin Aries is able to save himself. Aries might be thinking, maybe I need to hit a brain buster to close this guy out. Maybe I need to run around in circles to close this guy out. I don't know what it's going to take, but I, what I do know is that I'm going to beat this guy one-on-one -on -one tonight. As now Matt's thinking, it's my time, baby. It's my time to shine. Matt Hardy now. It's, oh, I thought Matt was going for that side effect. If he would have gone for the side effect, this match would have been on the final stages. I, I'm telling you that much right now. As now Aries tossing Matt Hardy out of the ring. Aries jumping with a suicide dive right into... And time and look at Aries just jumping now. He's like, I can just, I can just jump wherever I want. I'm the champion for a reason, cause I can do things like that. And now Aries is taking the battle to the outside on Matt Hardy. This isn't gonna end up well, and I know it for a fact because Aries, look at Aries, the way he brings down his opponent, the way he brings down Matt Hardy to the ground by choking him out, choking the life out this guy. Just choking him out. That's not the way you want to see anything happen. But Austin Aries coming back in the ring. Aries might be thinking it's Brain Buster time. Time to close this one out. He's got him. He's lifting him. Matt Hardy, you're done. Matt, you're done. Brain Buster. The Brain Buster connects. Matt Hardy, you're done. 450 splash. Someone call this a night because it is over. Wait, wait. What are you doing, Aries? No. Moonsaw. And he gets out the way. Hardy gets out the way. Hardy gets out the way. What are you doing? Why did you do this? No. No. Twist of fate. Twist of fate. Twist of hate. Twist of hate is connected. What are you? What, what's Matt thinking? Look at Matt right in front of Austin Aries grill. A side effect. Why not? A side effect just to put a little bit more into the loss. A little bit of an overkill. Lifting up Austin Aries. Another twist of hate. Bam. Aries is knocked out. Aries could be out of for the match. 
Matt Hardy for the pin. Not the win. No! Matt Hardy actually defeated the television champion. Oh my goodness gracious. What's going on here? Wait, what the hell just happened? Matt, did, did Matt Hardy just really beat the champion? No, no, no. That's some bullcrap. That's the fourth place guy against the number one place guy. It's not going to happen. Matt Hardy trying to make believers? He's trying to get some believers to believe in him because he just beat the champion. He beat the TV champion in a one-on-one -on -one match. Not much has come to a one-on-one -on -one situation. But Matt Hardy could be the favorite. Who was the favorite going into that? That's my question. You know, Matt Hardy could be the favorite. But so can MVP. But so could Joe. But so could Aries. But so could Hardy. But so could uh, MVP. So could Joe, so could Aries, and so could uh, Matt Hardy. But so could be Joe, so could be MVP. It could, it could be anybody. Hell, it could be Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hell, it could be Gorilla Monsoon. Hell, it could be the Ultimate Warrior. Hell, it could be it could be anyone, even King Kong Bundy. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know who the favorite will be. Wait, wait, what's Matt thinking? What is Matt thinking? Oh my, no, don't do this, man. Matt, don't do this. No, 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 no. We're running out of time here. Matt, come on, man. We're running out of time. 